Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about the world of EPOS or electronic point of sale or your till system, one to a better word. Now, over on our Boffix channel, we've been comparing the likes of Zettel with Square. And the TDLR is the fact that Zettel has some really great hardware. Um, ironically, the biggest problem being the battery. And as you can see here, the battery is just about on the way out on this one. But apart from that, the hardware is really, really strong. Square, on the other hand, does have some of its limitations. And ironically, at the moment, this one seems to have spricked itself. So this isn't going to be working anytime soon by the sounds of it. But when it comes to software, there's a clear winner. And that, unfortunately, is Square. So let's have a look and see how Square can connect to QuickBooks and make your life easier going forward. Hello and welcome to this video. If like me, you found that actually the Square solution, a good solution for you and your business, then this video is all for you. You see, what we're gonna look at is the options for actually connecting Square to QuickBooks Online. Now, if I go straight into QuickBooks Online, you'll see what the big problem is. You see, if I'm over here in the sales section and I go to the overview section and I scroll down, you'll notice that on the overview section, it says get paid anywhere with a card reader. There is actually an agreement between QuickBooks and Zettel that makes it so it works so seamlessly together. That's a great thing, that makes life so much easier. But if your business needs to have the other solution, in this case Square, then what options do you have? Well, unfortunately, there's no native solution. From my clients and what I see on a day-to-day -day basis is the fact that Square works better with that swear word called Zero. Um, and QuickBooks works better with Zettel. Now, if like me, all you really care about is making sure that small businesses get the best that they need, that means that sometimes they're gonna need to have the best hardware and software solution, which can be square for a lot of those businesses out there. You see, the problem with the software on Zettel is the fact the software on Zettel is really restrictive to what you can do, whereas Square gives you a lot more functionality and actually gives you that confidence to be able to take your business to that next level. Now, if I look on the QuickBooks App Store and I type the word Square in, you do get these options. Cinder, which if you use my link tree below, you'll find we've already got options and ways which you can connect with them and be able to make sure that you get the best solution and also Square by Commerce Sync UK. Now I've used both of these solutions. My only gripe about Cinder is from a pricing point of view, for anything that's gonna be worthwhile, like 100 transactions, which isn't actually that many, um, it's still 19.99. So I would say that having anything that's got a restriction to the amount of transactions might be something you wanna stay clear of. Also with Square by Commerce, Pricing seems pretty reasonable, um, $14.95 for a limited amount, but it doesn't say if you're allowed a limited amount of transactions, we can only assume that one. I've used these guys in the past and they seem to be really, really powerful. The thing though that I was interested to look at is if I go to my Square dashboard and it's really this Square dashboard where we're getting the most benefit out of it. And this is where we start to find some of those really great enhancements that Square has, unfortunately Zettel doesn't have at the moment, has the ability to connect to websites and things like this, gives you the chance to do a proper point of sale system, have staff, have money, reporting requirements, e-commerce options, and has a whole platform that I think is a really, really powerful option, including the virtual terminal, which we've used in our practice, and it works an absolute dream. But if you go to the Square app marketplace and put QuickBooks in, then you'll notice that these options comes up, which includes Commerce Sync and Cinder. So both of those seem to be a good solution. And again, if it was up to me between these two, I'd probably go for Commerce Sync just because of the unlimited element of it. But I think actually I'm gonna start and I'm gonna try Amica. Amica makes it really simple by the looks of it. I've never used these people before, so we're gonna be the first time we're gonna have a look at it, but I've got a feeling that this could be a great solution. If only they could help me unbrick this. Let's try restarting it and see if that helps. And the reason that I'm gonna try Amica is because when I scroll down and look at the pricing, it's a free option. And you know, as accountants, we love a good free option. Okay, so let's have a play and see what happens. Press get started, Square and QuickBooks online integration. Let's go for that, get started for free. Okay, I got myself signed in, so let's go and try and get ourselves into the right area. 
So I am looking for QuickBooks to Square. Just here, look. Give me the options to connect accounts. So let's connect to Square to begin with. Allow, time zone. So I'm gonna go with London if we're there. Um, there it is, you're up London. Nickname, um, Square. And then we're gonna connect to QuickBooks. Um, from QuickBooks, it's gonna ask me to sign myself in. Time zone, can I tell the words London in? Ah, that's quicker in it. And then this is QuickBooks. Save. Square, QuickBooks, save and continue. Now I get some options here, I can do Express, Features and defaults we map for you. Advanced, probably best thing to do. And a guided schedule call with one of our integration experts. That's a clever solution. Save and continue. Okay, we want, do we get the options then to map our transactions, which is fantastic. That all looks good to me. We'll go into this in more detail later down the line. We get to choose our payment types and map them accordingly. That's what I like to see. This is the level of integration and options and customization that I love to see. So I'm happy with all them. Saving continue. Mapping our sales, wouldn't expect anything less. I'm just gonna put everything to 20% for now, just, uh, just to make it easier. All those square fees, let's put that to exempt, see what happens. Payments, let's do Nova. Saving continue. Okay, so far so good. Lots of customization options here, and it seems to be giving us options to go through. Uh, map square bank to bank account. So let's say that it goes to my business bank. Never mind. Right. Tracking categories. And there's a tracking option. Okay, all premium ones, but you can track things. So that's great to hear. Save and continue. Scheduler, 3 a.m. Nice. Active integration, save and continue. So far, so good. Uh, Fitbiz, feel your business pulse in real time. Watch your bottom line grow. Uh, oh, it's from Amica itself, Fitbiz. Definitely something to look out for. Okay, so integration's all set up. That means I've got 10 minutes until my next sync. So let's put some transactions in here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put a cob and I'm gonna say one pound. A review sale, charge, that gives me the chance to charge from here, confirm and pay, simple as that, that comes up, I go to pay, simple as that, get a payment, get the option to print, print receipts, simple as that, there's my one pound being printed and done from the terminal, let's jump into this though, quickly jump into the app, this time around, I'm going to buy myself another cob, but I'm gonna add some bacon, so it's £1.50. Charge. It's then going to make the puck light up for me. So again, I'm gonna make that charge. Everything's gonna go through. Approved. And then I get to email or send an invoice via that way. Now, technically I could connect up a printer and all that lot, but I'm not going to do that for this one. Quite happy with that one. Um, but I've had two sales now going from there. Finally then on the square, let's use my uh, home terminal. Take a payment. I'm just gonna charge one pound. And manually enter card or send payment link. Easiest one to manually enter card. So in theory, I put my card details in ready to make a charge, processing payment, payment successful. Um, I can send confirmation, I can save card to customer, and I've had confirmation that's come through on my watch, so we know that's come through. Um, print confirmation, why not? And it's sat there saying that that's ready to be printed. So, three transactions sent. Seven minutes to go until that sync. Let's find out what happened when the sync gets achieved. Okay, so it looks like there's no way of forcing the sync other than using the help screen, sending an email, then you can request a sync and you can go from there. I'm not gonna go down that route now. I'm just gonna let it do what it needs to do and come back it at a later date. 
What I can tell though, from what I can see and everything, it looks like this is gonna work absolutely perfectly. And for free, I don't think we've got anything to complain about, to be honest. So we're gonna come back and we look at this at a later date, but so far so good for getting your square into QuickBooks Online. Now, if this is a topic you want me to recover on a later date, then please do put comments in below. I do read every single comment, and if it's something that's gonna be helpful for you, something we can definitely look at and see how it goes. But looking at the options of getting Square into QuickBooks Online, there are various options out there, paid for and non-paid for, and by the looks of it, you're gonna be absolutely fine in getting that connection in. It's just a shame we don't get that integration we get the same as what you get through Zettel. And there we have it, a little look at how to connect your Square into QuickBooks Online. Again, let me know below any problems, any questions, anything like that. Share, like, subscribe, and everything else for this particular video. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.